We need to have a conversation about gun control. All right, shoot. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Bobville. Yep, yep. Welcome back. All right, let's get into it. So last time around, we got our player to shoot. So check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Because on this one, we're taking it one step further and uh, adding some weapon pickups. So last time, we had our empty gun holder holding our handgun. Because we're basically going to make a list of guns. Now I have the AK and the RPG, but they're all taking that same weapon shoot script. So definitely check that last video if you haven't seen it. But now we're going to take our empty gun holder and actually add a script to it that'll take all the guns inside of it and only activate one at a time. So now I'll just open up the script and then I'll show you how we got it done. So the whole idea behind this script is to grab our weapon holder and the guns inside and to only have one active at a time. So in our start method, our weapon total is equal to the transform.child count of our weapon holder, which is basically our guns, and setting them in the new game object called guns. And then our for loop is just cycling through the guns and setting them all to false. The last thing we gotta do is by default have our pistol to be active and that's the first index so we have our guns zero set active to true so that's it for that script hit me in the comments if you have any questions about it but now we have a working weapon holder script and we can add and take away weapons as we please and the only other thing to do now is in our player object I uh, have a uh, gun change script it's really easy so let's open it up and take a look so yeah it's pretty easy the only thing we're really doing here is grabbing our weapon holder script and calling it weapon and whenever our player runs into something labeled as one of our weapons we'll set all the other weapons to be false and then that weapon to be true so you see I have our tags our RPG our AK and our pistol but then our random tag has this random dot range in here and that's just basically grabbing any weapon within our in our gun index and then we have a completely optional enumerator in here that's just setting our weapon back to our default pistol after a certain amount of seconds but yeah that's pretty much it for that script it's pretty straightforward but feel free to hit me in the comments if you have any questions about it our player is pretty much swapping between items when he collides with them so the only thing left to go over is the actual boxes that he collides with which is just pretty simple straightforward standard boxes they have particle systems that play when he collides with them and um, it's like three lines of code I can kind of show you here in a second but just be sure to make sure that the tags are labeled correctly add the tags and yeah so you're just basically calling the particle system and playing it when they collide with them it's pretty simple and that's all the script that you'll need in this video so now we can go ahead and press play and take a look at what we got hope you enjoyed so far like and sub if you have feel free to leave a comment but you can see our boxes are playing the particle systems and well that one isn't but <laughs> Our weapons are changing, the randomness of the mystery box is working fine. And that's pretty much it, so stay tuned till next time guys. Thanks for watching, peace. Do you know what's better than having one gun? Why do I feel like this is a loaded question? Two guns. I see. Hmm, I'd figure we'd go out with more of a bang.